Hey everybody, this is Vash, and we are going to take a look at converting some files to from MP4, well, in this case, MKV, to MOV. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because I use DaVinci Resolve. I use the free version specifically, but uh, this is applicable, applicable to both the free and the studio version, aka paid version. So the quest for this started on this particular page, the Linux Gamecast page about this. They have a video. They also have a you know brief blog article here. And the script in question is this one right here. Um, you may not be able to see it, but ultimately it's asking for an input.mp4 file and then a and then it's you're entering the uh, FFmpeg options and then you're doing an output.mov file. And this, for what it is, it works fine. The problem becomes if you have multiple files you're trying to change, or if you're doing this a lot, it's a little annoying to go and figure out your input file name and your output file name, especially if you want to keep the same file name, like I generally do. Uh, it can be kind of annoying to do that, to go in and update that every single time. So I wanted to create a script where I could put all of my MKVs in a folder and convert them all to MOVs so I could import them to DaVinci Resolve. From my brief research on this issue, ultimately the MP4 format, especially with the uh, H.264 encoder, is really good for watching video, but it's not very good for editing video. At least that was what I came across. That could just not be in the case and just something about DaVinci Resolve doesn't like MP4s. But anyway, the the point is, if you try to import an MP4, if you try to import an MKV, you'll just get this blank kind of video and it won't do anything in DaVinci Resolve. So that is where the script comes in. So let's look at, we're going to look at uh, Dolphin and then we're also going to look at DaVinci Resolve, or I'm sorry, not DaVinci Resolve. We're not going to look at DaVinci Resolve. We're going to look at uh, VS Code, aka VX Codium in this case. So the first script we're going to look at is this convert to MOV. So this is taking an MKV file and converting it to an MOV using FFmpeg. Uh, I am doing this in Manjaro, but this will be, as long as you have Bash shell, shell this will be working in your, your setup as well. So what I've done is I've created two variables here at the start. One is called dir, the other one is dir2. And I'm saying that dir equals to home slash user, which is going to be whatever username you're currently under, slash videos, slash project files, slash convert to MOV. Um, if you want to mess with this on your own, you will likely need something else, probably quotes. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at it too too deeply, but ultimately if you have any spaces in your path to this folder or this folder, you'll need to do something a little bit different. I didn't really care enough to do that. I did for the file names, but I did not for the folders. So if you're wanting to do this, I just recommend either using no spaces, like using underscores like this or, you know, whatever you want to do, or, you know, tweaking it to your liking, whichever. So then I took the extension MKV and extension to MOV. And I did this so that if I, you know, I ever decided that I wanted to do MP4 instead, I can come back and just change this to MP4 and be done. And then what it's doing is it's saying for file in the directory, which is, again, this project files convert to MOV folder. Uh, and then all the file names, that's a wild card, dot MKV. So it's saying, giving me all the files that are dot MKV in this particular directory. And then it's saying FFmpeg, which is the command for FFmpeg, oddly enough. Uh, this dash I here, that is an interactive flag. And what that means is that if there is ever a duplicate file name, so for example, if you have test video one and then you got dot MKV and you convert it to MOV and you try to run the same test video one again, it's going to come back and say, hey, there is already a test video one dot MOV file. Do you really want to, do you want to overwrite that file? That's all it's doing. So as long as you don't have a duplicate file names, you'll be fine. Uh, and then it's going to take the file, 
which is again that those MKV files, all of them. Uh, it's just going to do it for every single one of them. So it's going to pick one and it's going to do this conversion here. This particular piece right here, this dash C to the end of this section here to here. This is all directly from that blog post that I mentioned. Um, and that was that was where uh, this is ultimately going in and doing the change to the MOV format. And then it's going to name the file the same file name that it was, except it's going to remove the first extension and use .mov instead, which is ext2 in this case. Um, this percentage is some kind of, I, I don't know exactly. I tried to understand exactly what that did, but ultimately that is that is what's removing the, what it ends up doing is removing our, removing our uh, our first extension, and I'm I'm using the quotes around this just to make sure that any file names with spaces in them will be okay. So after that, I am moving that file, and again you have the interactive flag to see if there's a file that's already the same name, and then I am moving that to directory two or from directory one with the new extension, so the new MOV files, I'm moving those from the original directory to directory 2, which in this case is just videos slash project files. So it'll create my, it'll take my MKV, it'll convert it to MOV, and then it'll move it up a level to this project files folder. And then I can take that file and I can bring it into DaVinci Resolve, I can do all my edits, I can do, you know, I can do all my, my edits down, my, you know, a new clip style, all that other stuff. I can do all that. And then I can come back and render to another folder, which is this project files convert to MKV folder. And once I have my MOV there, this will do the exact same thing. This script here in the middle is a little bit different. We'll take a look in a second. All I went and did down here was I changed the ext2 to ext and the ext to ext2. So I just reversed all the the extension versus extension to tags or variables rather. And then I updated this to change it to this. And I believe uh, this particular section Rocco had sent to me, Big Daddy Linux had sent over to me. I'm not sure where he had got it. But ultimately this does the exact same thing. This just takes my MOV file and converts it back to MKV in this case. So again, um, very, very simple file and it'll it'll move it from uh, from this directly to directory to a new directory called upload and that's where I can upload the file from there the reason I'm doing this is because in the free version as far as I can tell at least maybe there's another way around this and I'm just not aware of it but in the free version of DaVinci Resolve you can there's a default export to YouTube option but I don't think you can actually decrease your bitrate on that so for example, my, my vert manager video, that thing was uh, 15, 16, 17 minutes, something like that. The file size was like 50 gigabytes. It was gigantic. And I, I did not realize that at first and started to upload that. And then I'm like, no, let's, uh, let's not do that. And so then I figured out uh, we just need to convert down and it, it converted to a much smaller file. I'm going to have to research this a little bit more. I don't know that this is the perfect way to do this. There may be a cleaner, better way. Um, I personally haven't really noticed a whole lot of difference in quality, but for what I'm doing, it doesn't really matter. If I was doing some super high fidelity, you know, video recording or something, this would probably be a lot bigger deal than it is. But for, you know, for the purposes of YouTube and what I'm working on currently, this is, this is fine. So, that is doing it that way. Uh, I am going to now run the script and I am going to set up, a, this is going to set up another video because I want to show you kind of what I've ended up doing. So I have set this particular script up in my uh, username, uh, home user or username, or I'm sorry, home username, and then dot uh, local slash bin. I've set that file up there. So all I have to do is I have to just type out convert to mov.sh and then I click enter and it runs and what that'll do is that'll create the files here and then when uh, 
they're going to pop up over here after they get moved. So there's one. And then there's the other one. So they both got moved over here. So that's awesome. So then once I would take these into my DaVinci Resolve, I would do my, all my edits, get all that done, and I would take them and I would render down and move them to the and render to this convert to MKV folder. And once I've done that and they're here, again, I just come down and I say convert to MKV.sh. And it'll create them here and start making them and do all that. And then once it's done with one, it should pop up right here on the left. And there it is. And then it's working on the second file now. And then once it's done with that one, it'll pop over here. Uh, these files are like 15, 20 seconds. I just created them specifically for all this testing because I wanted to make sure I was getting my script right and I wanted to make sure it was going to handle like a dash and, you know, a space and all that kind of stuff. And that's it. It's as simple as that. There are other options if you don't want to, you know, always use the terminal. Uh, I'm having a separate video where I'm going to, or in my next video will be talking about where exactly I did the file, show you where that folder is, or where I created it, rather. And then I'm also going to show you something else I discovered, is you can actually do that in Dolphin as well. So if I right-click, you'll see this convert to MOV. I added this option. Um, I think if you right-click in a blank area, I think you can do it right here, too. I think you can add it here. But uh, I have to research that a bit further. But that it will be the next video where I talk about how I added it to this particular section, how I made it so that all I have to do is come down here and type in the, you know, the, the actual file name and not have to worry about where the file is or anything like that. And then, like I say, also maybe talk about how to get it under this actions option here. But for now, that is all I have. And hopefully this has been interesting or useful. And um, FFmpeg is a very powerful tool. I'm sure there are other options out there like Handbrake or something like that. I am going to investigate that a little bit further, see if there's something that I can actually do with that, and maybe I can use that as well. Uh, I just know that FFmpeg works for what I'm trying to do because there are some kind of more specific formats that in the encodex that the video needs to use to cooperate in DaVinci Resolve. So that is the route I have gone, and I will have this on the GitLab. I'll also have the link to the Linux Gamecast article that I referenced at the beginning, and, uh, and that'll be that. But hopefully this is useful. Hopefully somebody can take this and, you know, if they like it, they can adapt it to their own system, or they can even improve it or whatever. So have a great one, everybody, and I will see you next time.